Hi you guys, here's me, MK Lucy, and yes, I know it's been a while, but I'm back up on YouTube video. Let me just go to the light, it's annoying me. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing like so much white. <laughs> you can't even see my white shirt, because the sun and... Anyway, okay, so, like I said, I was going to be filming a new video today, and today's video is going to be about five things that guys do that annoy the shit out of me, and I just want to choke them to death. Oh. That's how, that's how much they annoy me, you guys. Like, they actually really annoy me. So, we're going to get into this, okay? Number, I, I'm not even going to talk anymore. I think that's enough talking for now. And before I actually get into the video, please su subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel. Hi, I'm, I'm MK Lucy. Nice to meet you. And I hope to see you again. Anyway, so, the video. Number one. Things that guys do that piss me off and annoy the shit out of me is when they will message you and then you will reply back to them and then they don't reply back to you so it's like they will like message you and they'll be like hey what's good and you'll be like oh hey oh my boo just messaged me oh he's been thinking about me you'll be all like happy and shit and you reply back and they don't reply back to you and it's gonna be like what the fuck are you doing why are you messaging me if you're not gonna reply back to me what's good what's what why why i've had this happen to me so many times where like i'll be sitting minding my own business not thinking about your their bummy asses and then they'll be, they be like hey what's good what's up and i'm like oh you been thinking about me okay i'm gonna reply back and i'm gonna say what's good i'm good and they don't reply back to me and i'm like what the fuck are you not replying back to me for and i'm sitting there waiting for them to reply for like a good 10 minutes 20 minutes one hour and they ain't replying back to me hmm the fuck is wrong with you guys okay to be honest but number two is uh the other thing that guys do that, that annoys me is when they, you know, they, they tell you how they feel about you and, you know, they're being all nice and, and you know, they're like, I like you, I want to, uh, you know, shit like that. Hey, for example, if you guys were friends before, you know, shit happened and then I sh I'm gonna take off my jacket because my shirt is really cute. Even though it has stains, don't mind the stains. I was eating curry today. So, number two, like I said, like I was saying, is when guys are all being cute to you, telling you how they feel about you and all this shit and then when you when you're and then you sit there all like oh, what the fuck do what the fuck do I do about this shit? What do I do about it? And then you and you and then you think about it and you're like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll give this guy a damn chance, you know? And it's the worst when you guys were friends before all this happened. So like if you guys were friends and you know you're you you really chill together and all that stuff and then all of a sudden uh, he's like, oh, I like you, I've always liked you, blah, 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 all this crap, right? And then you're gonna be like, you're gonna be rethinking how you thought about him. And you're gonna be like, oh, maybe, maybe I like you too. I don't know. You know, you're gonna be confused. You wouldn't know what to do. So then you, you probably, and then, and it's the worst when they tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't want this to ruin our friendship and all that stuff. And you, and. You're probably the mature one, and they're like, "Oh no, this is not this is not a problem. I'm all G about it." And then, you know, you try to make things not weird, not awkward, not you know, not when you guys are together and all that stuff. But then it it don't it doesn't work because things will always be weird and awkward, and they will make it even more weirder and more awkward and all that shit. And they will stop talking to you all of a sudden, and it's, you're you're gonna be like, "What the hell?" Like what happens not making shit weird between us? You're just making everything weirder before not talking to me. And all of a sudden you'll be messaging them, they'll take like two days to reply back to you. It's like the fuck are you doing? I thought you liked me. I thought you wanted us to be friends. Why are you not replying to my messages? Like the hell. <sighs> Can you guys tell that really annoyed me? <laughs> Anyways, number three <laughs> is when <sighs> Number three is when these pig ass guys that have girlfriends and all that shit. And they know they have crazy fucking girlfriends, but they don't give a fuck. And they try to get with a new girl while they're still dating that old ass bitch that they were with. Okay? That shit pisses me off because that shit happened to me. And I was like, I thought she was cute. 
I thought you was nice. How the fuck do you think I'm gonna date you when you have another girl? Like, the hell? Like, do you really think I'm gonna waste my time on your ass when you have a girl on the side? Who? Who? Why? And it's the worst because, like, what if you do the same shit to me? Like, what if you start dating me and then, you know what they say? You lose them how you got them. So if, you, if you're if you the girl a guy cheated on or if you're the the, the guy the girl cheated on and you all got, got together, you will lose each other the way you got each other. Because if once a cheater, always a cheater. Y'all, they're not going to change just because they cheated to get to you. You understand me? Like, they're not going to change. So, you all bummy ass, pig ass guys that are out there trying to have more than one girlfriend at the same time. I ain't trying to be nobody. I ain't trying to be nobody's side chick. And no girl wants to be nobody's side chick. So, finish your shit before you move on. Finish whatever the hell you you were doing before you move on to a different girl. Because ain't nobody got the time for your shit. Okay? Nobody got the time. Please, stop wasting everybody's time with your crap. <sighs> I don't get I don't get why do they do that. Why would you have a girlfriend and go for another girlfriend? Like the hell. Um and oof. Number this is gonna be number four. Number four is when guys have crazy ex-girlfriends or crazy girlfriends or whatever the hell, and then those girlfriends start attacking you and then the guys aren't doing anything about it. I was saying, I have to go do something real quick. You guys like my hair? I did it myself. It doesn't it look so cute. I made my own wig. <laughs> Anyways, um, number five, number four. Like I was saying, is guys that have crazy fucking girlfriend. I know it's not their fault. I know that, but it just annoys the shit out of me. Like I had to deal with a guy that had a crazy girlfriend that would even hack his phone to talk to me. It's not. The bitch would take screenshots of our conversation. The hell's wrong with you? The fuck? But, I mean, what you gonna do about it? Crazy girlfriends and, and... And I feel like all the guys that have the crazy girlfriends did something to them. And those girls are just bitter ass fucking people. They're just bitter and disgusting. And they don't know what the fuck to do with their, their life. So they try to make everybody else's life miserable. <sighs> Number five... Number five is guys that will just just because they're born with male parts and all that shit, they think they can they have a say in the girl's life. They think they have a say and they, they think they can they, they can control a female. Like you don't have any control any over anybody, you guys. I'm I'm talking to all the people out there that 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 thing oh i'm a guy i can do whatever i want to i i have a say in this relationship i have to say to what you do what you can eat what you who you can go out with who you can talk to like and um and like see try to control a girl trying to close her off as isolate her from her her friends or her you know like it, it just the stupid things that guys would do just because they because they're guys and they think girls don't have a voice and uh and and i feel so bad for the girls that have to deal with this but i'm just saying like those guys need to stop you all the people that are out there that, that that know that they like to control a girl and have a uh, feel like they can they, if you, make her feel like she's nothing please Get your ass out of here. But yeah, to all the people out there that have to deal with this and all the girls that have to deal with pig, pigs and guys that, that, that feel like they have control over you guys, please take yourself out of situa those situations and find somebody that can treat you better. Anyways, that's all the video. I know the last one's a little sad and a little, you know, a little serious, but I mean, we have to, we have to talk about this shit. Because if we don't talk about it, who the fuck is going to, who the fuck is going to talk about it if we don't talk about it? But, um, I love you guys all so much, and thank you so much for all the support I've been getting. I will see you guys on my next video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will be back with our awesome videos. More awesome videos are coming up, so I know I made these promises before and didn't go through with them, but this time I will. I promise. Peace. Bye.